Hey everyone, I'm Joyce. Today is Sunday, December 6th, 2020, and this video is a continuation of the reading of Dr. Furman's book, Eat for Life. I hope you don't mind the funky lighting tonight. Um, <laughs> I just, I turned off the main lights and am reading from Christmas lights. <laughs> so. Hopefully it uh, just creates a nice ambiance. I will get right into it. Uh, we are still in the introduction and this section is called, the section I'm starting with is called the Eat to Live story. Oh, um, the thumbnail, the picture thumbnail for this video is what I had for breakfast this morning. The components of what I had for breakfast this morning. I had a uh, Waldorf salad and um, and one of Dr. Furman's G-Bombs nutrition bars. And uh, I will give, um, in the description, I will put the recipe for the Waldorf salad as well as a cranberry sauce that I had um, tonight on top of banana bread which is not in the Nutritarian protocol. The banana bread is not. But anyway, I will put the, the Waldorf salad and the cranberry sauce relish, I'm not sure what, <laughs> in the description below, recipes for those. And at the end of the video, I'll talk about what I ate today, all day. So let's start with the eat to live story. Um, Eat to Live is the title of my best-selling book originally published in 2003 and revised in 2011. People often use that phrase to describe this micronutrient-rich eating style. For more than 15 years now, and much to my surprise, I have received and continue to receive a huge volume of emails and letters from people expressing their gratitude and describing the miraculous changes that have occurred to their health thanks to reading this book. I wrote Eat to Live on the basis of what the scientific literature revealed to be the gold standard for health and longevity. I did not think it would be so popular as I expected that the diet and nutritional advice in it would be too restrictive for the majority of people to consider its powerful message. But I wanted a book out there to represent this niche of dietary excellence and to make that knowledge public. Fortunately, over the years, mostly by word of mouth, millions of people have read Eat to Live and have gotten their health back. Eventually, it became a national bestseller and was on the New York Times bestseller list for 90, for 90 weeks. Nine zero. <laughs> I am fortunate to have been able to continue to write best-selling books, including Super Immunity, the End of Diabetes, The End of Dieting, and The End of Heart Disease that have had incredible life-changing effects on readers across the world. Seeing the miraculous transformations brought about by my work enhanced my commitment and passion to making this knowledge as widely available as possible. It is too important to be ignored. Even though I have studied and utilized this dietary method as a medical therapy for more than three decades, Seeing the large number of people whose lives have been transformed was thrilling. Thousands of people have lost dramatic amounts of weight, sometimes more than 100 pounds, without difficulty and never gained it back. More important, thousands have recovered from diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, angina, and cardiomyopathy, migraines, autoimmune conditions such as psoriasis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Sjorgren's, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, Sjorgren's syndrome, mixed connective tissue disease, fibromyalgia, allergies, asthma, acne, reflux, sorry, reflux esophagitis, kidney insufficiency, and many more. I have even seen dramatic improvements in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, which most often occurs in smokers. I have also witnessed the usefulness of this approach in recovering from cancer. The results and success stories are astounding, and many will be featured throughout this book. I have been blessed to have reached millions of people with this message of hope and healing. 
and I am grateful for the opportunity to make known the healing power of nutritional excellence and to motivate people to better care for their precious health. Since writing Eat to Live, I have written 10 other books on health and nutrition. My goal in writing this book is to gather the most critical and important aspects of all my books into one volume and make these principles easier to understand and incorporate into your life. I also share the latest and most important new scientific discoveries and new lessons I've learned, including the obstacles people encounter when making dietary changes. All the answers are here. You will see that people, sick or healthy, overweight or slim, young or old, can benefit from this dietary plan. It creates the environment necessary for our bodies to thrive and experience what amounts to a miracle in our modern world, a long life free of diseases such as heart disease, stroke, dementia, and even cancer. And there's a little, I'm not sure what it's called, but a little extra on the previous page that I will also read. Uh, Win the war on disease now. We can likely prevent more than 90% of all cancers and more than 95% of heart attacks and strokes with the advances in nutritional science discussed within these pages. The problem is that many Americans... <laughs> hey, buttons... Okay, the problem is that many Americans don't like the solution. Too many are still looking for a magic pill that can, that can enable them to smoke and not get lung cancer or to consume ice cream, french fries, soda, and pizza and not get breast or prostate cancer. Life is not a fairy tale and there is no magic in healthcare. The real world is unforgiving. Our bodies develop problems when they have been damaged by harmful influences. But the good news is that we now know how to protect ourselves, and we have the capability to reverse disease and save lives. For those willing to open their minds and change their habits, lifelong excellent health is well within reach. And I am not talking about starvation diets or a horrible eating plan that can't be sustained. This nutritarian diet approach is about putting the most flavorful, delicious, natural ingredients in the world in your body. It might take some time to get used to it, but I promise you that the benefits far outweigh any issues associated with changing what you eat. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> Pretty compelling. Okay, the next part is the book you need to read. People often ask me, if I, could if I could read just one book of yours that has the most comprehensive overview of your program and insights, which book should I read? The answer is this book. No dietary program has more scientific support regarding its principles and foods that slow aging, prevent disease, and prolong lifespan with more than a thousand carefully vetted scientific references. But there is another critical element here, and that is the therapeutic effects of the Nutritarian program to reverse chronic disease, including not just obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and obstructive coronary artery disease, but also asthma, migraines, and autoimmune diseases such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, sl <laughs> scleroderma, psoriasis, and inflammatory bowel disease. It can even reverse early stage cancers. I've also had beneficial results with people who have adopted this program while on chemotherapy and those with later stage cancers. I tell people that there is always hope. At times, even I am astonished by what the body can do to heal itself when provided with the optimal nutrition environment, excuse me, the optimal nutritional environment to maximize self healing. How effective is this protocol therapeutically to reverse diseases? Over the past three decades, my experience is that this eating style has been miraculously effective at enabling people to make complete recoveries from what are usually considered irreversible illnesses. A massive number of scientific studies corroborate my findings. My goal is for this book to provide all the information people need to adopt this program with confidence, to be able to modify it to their particular situations, and to feel secure that it will maximize both the quality and quantity of the days they live. 
If you find yourself thinking that adopting a healthful diet means you have to give up the pleasure of eating, I am happy to reassure you that this is simply not true. Yes, it takes time to learn a new way to cook and prepare foods, and yes, it takes time for taste preferences to change and taste buds to become more sensitized to foods that have less salt and sugar. But if you stay with this plan, you will find that your taste buds and your sense of smell actually get stronger and adjust such that you prefer healthier foods. I am excited about the incredible menus and recipes you'll find in this book. You'll soon discover that not only will you like this way of eating, you will prefer it. I think that's, yeah. Then it starts another section, um, still in the introduction, but I wanted to keep these short and that's at 10 minutes. So, uh, what I had today, um, yeah, I ate a Waldorf salad this morning, which consisted of, excuse me, uh, apples, walnuts, celery, and grapes. And, um, the, uh, traditional recipe um, also calls for mayonnaise as a dressing. And of course I don't want to use mayonnaise that's not in the, um, nutritarian protocol. So I used one of Dr. Furman's prepared salad dressings, uh, sesame ginger, I think it was, um, it's a little bit spicy, uh, sweet, spicy, you know, ginger. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I liked it. I had that and I had, Excuse me, I still got my coat with me from walking the dogs. Um, and one of Dr. Furman's G-Bombs nutritional bars, it was the uh, nuts for chocolate uh, flavor, formula, recipe. So I had that for breakfast, and that was it all day until uh, Doug decided he was going to go out for pizza. I think it was around 3.30. Um, so we had a late lunch, early dinner, um, pizza is not in the protocol <laughs> either, not Pizza Hut pizza anyway. Um, but, um, like I said, I'm kind of transitioning myself. So I just, um, I steamed, wilted, um, about two handfuls of spinach, uh, one and a half handfuls of spinach. And I put that on top of it and it tasted fine to me. <laughs> um, had that. And then for dessert, I had a slice of banana bread that I made for Doug last week. Um, the banana bread is not in the Nutritarian protocol. Um, but I heated that and put on top a homemade cranberry sauce, cranberry relish that um, my brother's sister-in-law <laughs> shared. Um, and the Waldorf salad, the recipe for the Waldorf salad, like I said in the beginning, and the recipe for the cranberry sauce or relish, I will put both of those in the description below. So that's what I have had to eat today. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to close and I will be back tomorrow to read another uh, I think the finish, I think I'll finish the introduction of the book and we'll share again what I'm eating. So that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.